What's going on everyone? This your boy Rob Beasy, always making things easy like playing Black Ops 2 on standoff. The OP map that it is. I mean, it's popular, that's why. But anyway, I'm finally back doing commentaries once again. And I have to give shout outs to my friend Beastradamus, who you can find his channel somewhere in the annotation or probably down below in the description. I have to give him a shout out because he actually got me into doing commentaries again since he got started doing commentaries again so just want to give him some shout outs real quick and uh, this gameplay it's gonna start off a little slow but it's gonna get better going a merciless streak towards the end here so hope you guys do enjoy now why I haven't been doing commentaries lately is because I haven't really had much interest in talking about anything you know that Things that held my interest, and, you know, they weren't really popping up. Plus, I was in summer school for about a month. Yes, I did pass. And now I just got back, what, three weeks ago? And I've just been chilling, man, just chilling, gaming. And just just been catching up on some games like Earthbound and uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And also got the new One Piece. Unlimited World Red that I'm probably going to live stream, at least the Colosseum part, because that's actually fun, and rather just uh, me going around collecting shit and whipping on enemies. But it is a really good game. If you're a huge One Piece fan, I really recommend you get that game. But anyway, on to today's topic. I do want to talk about my thoughts about the Smash Brothers leak that happened today. Now... Nintendo has already taken down the videos uh, put up by... I forgot his name. It was something funny. Like, this can't be real or something like that. But he had at least five clips uh, from the Smash Brothers 3DS version. And he had the tag ESRB0083. Now, that's kind of strange because... The ESRB, you know, in order to give a rating, it doesn't usually play games. Rather, it just uh, looks at footage from, like, the worst parts, quote-unquote, from the game. And they give a rating in that aspect. But in this case... Lovely two-piece, though, before I die. In this case, I I'm not sure if this guy was trying to have more credibility by putting that tag particular tag there but either way uh, th the footage was shown uh, there was some gameplay of uh, Yoshi's Island from Brawl and it had Lucina, Shulk uh, I think Marth and one other person no not Marth because Lucina was the only one there and there was two other people I can't remember off the top of my head but not only did we get to see how Lucina worked, because she's actually a little bit faster than Marth, but we also is also confirmed that Shulk was playable, which a lot of Xenoblade fans are really happy for, and I'm happy for those fans, even though I've never played Xenoblade. Don't shoot me, please. Don't. Okay. I, it just doesn't interest me because I'm not into action RPGs like that. I, I, I like my turn-based. Pokemon spoiled me in that aspect. But anyway. And there were some more clips. And they featured a battlefield. A match on battlefield. And it had Bowser. Bowser Jr. Uh, can't remember the other two people. But Bowser Jr. is also confirmed. And not only that. He uses a clown cart. He uses the mini clown cart. And he's, and he's in it the whole time. So that that's kind of interesting. And... Uh, I actually want to give him a try just to see how it works. Now, about those leaked screenshots, I'm not sure if those were actually proven legitimate or not. All we know is those screenshots were proven legitimate be since Nintendo directly took them down. Like, although it did take a while, like it was around floating around for like good three or four hours before it uh, finally got taken down. So this is pretty legitimate. And I'm actually kind of excited. Uh, there are a lot of Mario characters uh, this go around, so 
it's sort of bad in that aspect that there's a lot of Mario representation and little representation of other uh, lesser known Nintendo franchises but so far the game's looking really good uh, other than that I'm actually just waiting for the Wii U version by the way because that's gonna be the definitive version instead of the 3DS but I mean if y'all want to play Smash early go play 3DS go get the 3DS version it's gonna be out in a couple months uh, it's gonna be out in about three weeks in Japan so you might get some catch some early screens there so until next time everybody hope you guys enjoyed this video and this commentary let me know what you guys think down in the comments below until next time peace y'all I'm out <laughs>